Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Teaching Exam Preparation Zone. Friends, तो आज के वीडियो में हम डिस्कस कर रहे हैं जनरल साइंस के कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन विच आर रिलेटेड विद प्लांट्स ओके सो टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस प्लांट सी के क्वेश्चन ओके एंड इट इज गोइंग टू बी पार्ट वन वेल डू फ्यू मोर पार्ट टू कवर ऑल द इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन विच आर रिलेटेड टू द प्लांट्स टॉपिक सो लेट सी द फर्स्ट वन क्वेश्चन इज वट आर द टाइनी ओपनिंग अंडर द लिप्स कॉल एंड इसका सही जवाब है सोमैटा यस सोमैटा आर द टाइनी ओपनिंग और द टाइनी पोर्स ऑन द लिप्स विच हेल्प टू ब्रीथ ओके सो स्टोमैटा हेल्प इन एक्सचेंज ऑफ गैसेस नेक्स्ट वन द प्रोसेस बाई विच प्लांट्स मेक द फूड कॉल इसका सही जवाब है फोटो सिंथेसिस सो प्लांट्स अपना फूड खुद ही बनाते हैं राइट दे प्रिपेयर देर ओन फूड बाई यूजिंग सनलाइट वाटर carbon dioxide and also minerals from the soil so this process is called photosynthesis right next one the food prepared by plants is called dash a food to prepare hota hai photosynthesis ke process pe right abhi wo food ko kya kehte hain the food is called glucose okay the food prepared by plants is called glucose or the food which is stored in the plant like the excess food which is stored in the plants is called starch Okay. Next, which gas is released by plants during photosynthesis? So during photosynthesis, plants use carbon dioxide and they give out oxygen. Okay. So oxygen is released during photosynthesis. Which part of the plant absorbs water and minerals from the soil? Answer is roots, because roots are underneath the soil, right? So roots absorb water and minerals from the soil. Which part of the plant is known as food factory of the plant? Okay, where is food prepared in the plant? In the leaves, right? In leaf, the food is prepared. So leaf is called as food factory of the plant. Next one, the main vein that runs down the center of a leaf is called midrib. So leaf has different parts like veins, uh, leaf blade, and many other parts. Maybe we will discuss in some other video. So the main vein which runs through the center of a leaf is called midrib. Okay. Why do the stems of cactus are thick and fleshy? Now look at the picture of cactus. You can see the stems are thick and fleshy, and they also have thorns, right? so cactus has to survive in hot and dry climates where there is less water right so the thick and fleshy stems are the adaptations of this cactus plants why do they have this adaptation so that they can store water whenever it rains over there so the cactus can store the excess water in their thick stems and use it whenever required okay so the thick and fleshy stems of the cactus help to store water in it The plants which cannot stand on their own and need support to grow are called dash. Answer is climbers. Okay, climbers have very thin and weak stem, or they cannot stand on their own. They need support to grow. चलो friends, कुछ examples आप comment पे लिख दीजिए. Climbers के कुछ examples like grapevine is a climber, और कुछ examples लिख दीजिए comment पे. देखते हैं क्या-क्या climbers के plants होते हैं. Okay. Next, the last question in today's video. The process of releasing excess water from the plants is called dash. Its the right answer is transpiration. Okay, plants also release excess water. Okay, so that process is called transpiration. So we are done with ten questions in today's video. Now it's your turn to answer. It's time for viewers' question. Plants are dash. Up to now, there are two options. Hai. Autotrophs meaning they make their own food and they do not depend on others. Heterotrophs means they depend on others for their food. Okay, so now you think, karega, so ye or iska sahi jawab niche comment pe likh dijiye. Write your answer in the comment. Plants are autotrophs or heterotrophs. Bas, aaj ke liye itna hi, friends. Thanks for watching my video, and I hope you liked it. देन आपको पता है अगर आपको अच्छा लगा तो आपको क्या करना है सब्सक्राइब करना है लाइक शेयर और कमेंट भी कर देना है ठीक है सो लेट्स मीट इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो टिल देन कीप प्रिपेयरिंग